Hey everybody, hope you're all having a fantastic day. Back at it again with a very simple tutorial today. I'm not sure I haven't covered this before. So this is going to be a simple, just turn it on. And even if you keep clicking, it doesn't toggle it. So it's not a toggle, it's just a simple switch. And we're gonna have one for local, which is gonna be regular here, and global. So if we take a look at my Patreon, you can see we do have different tiers and you'll get to access to different things. Pretty standard here. And there are some assets already available for the different tiers. Uh, there will be a lot more coming almost daily for a very long while as I have to go back through previous content and recreate everything and make it you know, perfect for importable and create descriptions for everything and how it works and all that jazz, but there will be a lot of content that is plug and play available if that is what you're looking for. Um, just give you an example of how it works. So this is uh, some of our options we have right now. So let's just say we want different mirrors or sliding glass door. Um, they'll just work, they'll have the textures assigned if they come with textures. Uh, that kind of thing, but they'll work just drag and drop the prefabs and follow the instructions and you can use it as is or Hopefully you can reverse engineer it along with the instructions and make something Totally unique for your own world and use it however you'd like um, So yeah That is now available if you have any questions on what that might entail or what it's going to have in the future just drop a comment in the video and I'll try to get back to you on that as well okay so the first thing here is we have a mirror it's in, turned off by default just for our own sake so we'll go ahead and look at our first standard cube and we've added an udon behavior so just add component udon behavior and we make a new graph. So let's go ahead and start over. We're going to take the cube. We're going to remove the component. So this would be your cube. Boot on behavior. Let's go ahead and do a new program. All right. So we have a completely blank script here. What we're going to do is interact. Event interact. We're going to need a variable called, and it's going to be a game object variable. What you'll want to do is make that public. We're going to rename it to our target because we're going to, this is our target object. You can make it target whatever you'd like. So this is the replaceable part here. Okay. Now we're going to need to unclick whatever you're clicking. Make sure you're not having anything clicked. Create node. Uh, what do we need? We need another game object. We need set active so on the interact trigger set active what set active this game object value true that would be on okay so now we have something when we it's interactable and it's going to turn this mirror on so what we're going to do is we're going to copy this cube move it over here go back to this cube Open the Udon graph, select all, take control C to copy it. Go back to our scene, open this guy, delete this script. We're gonna create a new one. Hit control V, uncheck that box, and save. Now what I do is I rename, you can see it says cube four and cube five. I renamed mine to set active and set inactive so that's totally up to you that just helps me keep everything straight personally okay so the next thing we're going to have to do for both of these is we're going to want to target the mirror and i'm going to change the interaction text so everybody can knows what knows what it does when they look at it to set active and set active all right so let's copy our first cube bring it on over 
we can remove that script. We're going to create a new one. This one's going to be a little different, but we're still going to take our clipboarded script and just put it in here for now. So we're just going to delete this. We're going to bring it back in a second. But that's, I guess we could have kept it, but you know, that's okay. So we're going to want to type in networking and udon behavior send custom network event. The interact is going to target this. It's going to trigger it. We're going to target everybody and the event name is going to be global set active. Now we're going to go down here, create another node, custom event, event custom. This is going to target our set active. And when global set active is called, we will trigger it for everyone. Okay. So that is now going to be called global set active. It's going to target a mirror. Now what we want to do here is copy this again. Go into our Uden graph, copy this script, delete it again, new program, open it on graph, control V, uncheck the value, global set, inactive, target the mirror, and we should be good to go. Give it a shot. Looks like the mirror turns on. And if I keep clicking it, it doesn't un turn on, doesn't toggle. The off works, the global on, we're not gonna load two clients because this is already running not great. So we're just going to uh, assume that works. That looks like everything works. If you guys found this video helpful or you need the asset file, um, you can leave a comment, subscribe, like, visit the Patreon. Support me however you choose. I appreciate any and all feedback. And let me know if you have any requests for videos. I always appreciate those. And sometimes it takes me a while to get to them, but I try to. Anyways, guys, see you next time.